Hey adventurers, welcome to Living Like Gary, I'm Gary, and today we're diving into the epic world of Azeroth as we guide you on how to start playing World of Warcraft in 2023. Okay, so first thing is first, you're going to go to blizzard.com, you're going to click on downloadbattle.net, download their launcher, open their launcher, and then click play. So once you get the game loaded up, it's going to give you the realm selection. You're going to choose a realm that you prefer to play on. You can choose low pop, high pop, or realm for new players. Don't pick the full ones. <laughs> so let's get into a realm. So once you're in, you're not going to have any of these characters. These are the characters that I play as. You're going to create a new character. Okay. Now let's talk about races and classes. There are several races to choose from, each with its um, own unique traits and background. You can right click on each class to check their little traits that they have and it'll show you like humans bonus to reputation gains. Worgen can periodically move quicker. Critical chance strike increase. Likewise, you'll need to choose a class that suits your preferred playstyle. If you're new, consider starting with something more straightforward like uh, like a hunter. So you can pick a hunter or maybe a warrior. Those classes are more straightforward to play as. And here, Exile's Reach or Shadow Glen. Shadow Glen is an Night Elf original starting area. They added Exile's Reach for very new players. It's more of a tutorial based island that you could start on. Or you can go to this. If you're wanting to do something really fast, I, I would prefer Exile's Reach. But for, for this tutorial, I'm going to choose. Shadow Glen, the main home of the Night Elves, the big tree. Okay, so here we are, starting out the very starting area to Shadow Glen. First thing is, I'm going to show you a couple tricks to kind of help you out with your user interface. That makes things a little bit easier. So you're you're going to go to options, action bars. You're going to add a couple action bars because these right here will not will not do the trick. So you can, you can add ones that you would like. You can see they're adding as I'm clicking, filling them in. There, there's a bunch of action bars, which, you know, of course, you don't need to use all of these. You can use as many as you want, but the option is here to add the action bars. Uh, this is what I prefer to have is these two over here and then these two down here. And then something really nice is for key bonds. It's going to make your life a lot easier to use key bonds for your abilities instead of trying to click click each one and stuff when you're starting out you really want to try to get used to using keybinds it'll make life a lot easier just just trust me and uh, everybody else who plays too they'll they'll tell you the same thing use your keybinds okay so now that we got the action bars set up we're gonna go ahead and accept the quest I'm gonna kinda show you guys the process of how to do this you're gonna, you know, you right click on him, open him up, accept the quest, and then he'll tell you what to do over here. Here's your quest on the side. Kill six young night sabers. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to get to your abilities and how you can move them around on your hotbar. But you could just click and hold and drag them to certain keybinds that you want to have. Here is the keybind thing that's super easy to set up. Quick keybind mode. You click, hover over whichever one you want, and then press the key that you want it to be at. So this, I have Q, so I would press Q. And then click OK. Your main abilities is going to be in here on these tabs. This is each spec that you can spec into once you hit level 10. But for now, just worry about this spec right here. It's your main hunter spec. Arcane Shot, Steady Shot. That's the only two that we have unlocked right now, which are down here. So we've accepted those quests up on your mini-map. It'll have a guided quest thing for you. You could just follow this. It's super easy with how they've revamped questing and leveling. Okay, so we've hit level 3. We've got another ability, Wing Clip. You can put this, leave it where it is, drag it around. We're going to continue on until we get to level 10, and then I'll show you some more stuff. I also want to show you something so you're not confused about certain types of quests. Certain quests will have quest items that you have to use. So this quest wants me to fill the vial. They got a little item here, a quest item, which is unique. So you're going to come in here, just so you don't get confused. Come inside of it, read the description. 
you know, what it tells you to do, click on this and it'll fill it up. Just so you come over here and you can't figure out how to do it. Okay, so we've just hit level 5 off of that quest. And now your hotbar is completely full of a bunch of abilities that you don't know what to do with. So, all those new abilities that you just got is part of your pet ability. You now, it's your pet utilities. So what you can do, come in here, take this right here. And this is what I personally like to do. Put it up here in this top. So you have all your pet abilities here. And all these here that just popped in. Tame pet. Gone. Revi revive pet. Gone. Men pet. Gone. Feed pet. Gone. So you're just putting all these different abilities out of the way. Except for the whistle. This is how you're going to call your pet when you go tame a pet, which we're about to do. So now that you want to, you found a pet that you want to tame, you can tame the nice sabers here or the boars, pretty much, pretty much anything. You're going to click on the tame you want, click tame beast. It's going to do a little action bar. It's taming the beast and we're going to have a pet. Something I want to mention is flight paths also are a saving grace. Each flight path you're going to have to learn, go up to and click on to pull up on your mini map as a little shoe with a wing. And you can fly back and forth to where you need to go. Okay, so once you've hit level 10, you're going to unlock the rest of your things down here. You're going to unlock your specialization and talents. You can open this up and choose any different specialization that you want to be. Which me, right now, I prefer Beast Mastery. So I'm going to pick Beast Mastery. Okay. So now that you're active in that spec, you're going to go to your talents. Since I'm level 10, you get one point and you can choose different abilities and different perks, passives, and all kinds of things that you want to pick. And then I just put it in your hotbar unless it's a passive. And as you each level up, you're going to get one point and you're going to be able to come in here and just keep working your way down both sides of the tree until you get to max level. Another thing I want to talk about is the group finder. This is how you're going to do your dungeons, your PvP, your raid, any type of thing like that. You're going to come in here, pick what pick what you want to be, damage, healer, or tank, which for hunter, you can just be damage. You can do specific dungeons or random dungeons, whichever you prefer. And also, once you hit level 10, you unlock the ability for mounts. So to get to that, you're going to click on collections down here. Here's a tab down below. Choose your mounts, and here's a bunch of mounts that, well, actually, here's the mounts that I have collected. But you'll have your starter mounts that you can choose. Like, let me let me find one of the starter mounts. Here's a starter mount that you will get. Not Saber. You can also get mount equipment. You can buy this or learn to craft it. So, so those few basic things that I just talked about in this video, that's what's going to help you get your foot into the door with World of Warcraft in 2023. As you get higher level, things are going to get a little bit more complicated and confusing, but there's tons of other videos and a bunch of people out there that will help you figure out how to do things and get what you need to get done. That being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. 